this little baby's rested for an hour and a half. So first and foremost, let's get, you know, the wing off. And obviously, because it's rested, I can just pull that off and flake and pull that meat. But that's good meat. That's almost some of my favourite bits in there. Um, where this leg is separated from this breast here, I'm going to go straight down, use the fork or tongs to really remove this whole leg like that. There's the ball joint there, straight through it. So you get a big old turkey drumstick there. So now you've got the leg out of the way and the wing out of the way, length of the knife, use the tip of your fork just to, to secure the meat as much as you need it and just do long, nice, almost like half centimetre slices. As soon as you get halfway down, you can use that fork to secure it and just go all the way down and then nicely out at the end and then use the tip of the knife and the fork to move that across. That's the old school style, OK? Let me show you the other way. You can feel here a backbone. Feel it and then go on this side of it. You just use the length of your knife and you cut all the way down to until you hit the bottom of the carcass. It's that simple. And what you're basically going to get is a massive, great turkey breast. Then you can go to the end of your breast, get yourself a sharp knife, and do those lovely long strokes that are so important with carving. And the fact there's no bone means that even the biggest novice can actually carve like a chef. Just a nice bit of gravy just over the top, just so it doesn't dry up. Roast turkey cooked perfectly.